putting the cutoff valves together. Yeah, Running the vent pipe. Here's the dryers are all in and they're installing the card readers now. This thing is huge. A lot of dryers. Dryers are installed. Everything's finished on that aspect of things. Now all we're waiting on is the makeup air, the venting. And we have the electric pull pretty much. Uh, you won't believe this electric costs $1.25 uh, per foot. So uh, when you have uh, over 900 feet runs, 1,000 feet runs, <laughs> it's coming up to about $5,000 in wire alone, but that's okay. Um, I'll take you a walk through here and show you what we've done so far. It's getting really close. Um, and I think, uh, but I'm very pleased about how the, dr the dryers look. We have. 1145 stack dryers. We have 30, uh, five 30 pound stack dryers and three 75 pound dryers. And so if we ever wanted to uh, add more washers, we could. So there's uh, obviously room to grow. Okay, here's how the dryers look. Just walking down through here. That looks really nice. Look at that chrome inside. Um, and then we have the spider wash, which is on all the dryers. Um, up to 30 pound stack dryers uh, so that looks pretty good and then what they're going to be doing is putting makeup air on the back end here here here's behind the dryers all we really need is about two feet so you can work on the dryers but we have plenty of room back here at the 75 pound dryers uh, we have a, close to three feet and then you know we're back down here to the 30 pound dryers it looks a little bit more like uh, three and a half to four feet. So it's gonna give you plenty of space back here to do some uh, work if, when these, when and if these dryers break down, I hope they don't, but you know they will. And then uh, right up here, we'll be taking uh, the ceiling tiles out, cutting up, making our dryer wall, and putting our venting up through the roof. And uh, that will be getting done this week. Well, as you can see right here, we've had the electric pulled and so if you see that gray conduit right there straight back, that's where the electric is. And it's coming down through here to these wires here. And uh, we'll be connecting all the washers. And that's on each bulkhead. Right there, you'll see what I did do. And I haven't done in other liner mats. And I was thinking about this long and hard. And it's a pretty smart idea, thing to do is I have a cutoff at each line. So if something were to happen at one of the lines on this, uh, in this liner mat, I have actual cutoffs for each line, water cutoffs. So there, so you, you'll see right there, you see that yellow cutoff and that's on both, both uh, lines there. And uh, that will make things a lot more efficient. If you were to have a problem, uh, you can, you can cut off each line. Slop sinks installed. And we also have our water heater, it's installed and it's been inspected so we are good to go so there you go there's what it looks like there's a nice pan view of everything we're getting very very close